can I get for you today? No problem. Um, I'm gonna do the two for four breakfast sandwiches, kind of a sausage McMuffin with egg, <laughs> and uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, please. Anything else? That's it. Uh, thank you. So we'll come to 420 at the second Just pull up to the Atmospheric Science Research Center in Wilmington, New York, White Face Mountain. Gonna be doing White Face and Esther today. It's a day hike, about a two and a half hour ride up from the house. But uh, I just found the trailhead, it's right over my shoulder there. It's gonna get finished getting packed up, throw on the snowshoes, and we're gonna get on out of here. Got my Kelty Ruckus 28 liter, it's, it's full. I'll show you the rest of my gear kind of on the way. But I'm just gonna finish getting packed up here, finish some breakfast, and we're gonna hit that trail. Esther Mountain, first stop. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they like to hit it hard right out of the gate here. Just been straight up. Have the snowshoes on to heal this up. We just got sunrise over my left corner. Check this out. So that's an old uh, storage. This used to be a uh, ski mountain before Whiteface took it over. I want to say in the 60s it closed. That's an old ranger's box for you know first aid supplies for the skiers who fall. But we got sun rising right over there in the left. But it's uh, it's been straight up to start this trail, so we're gonna keep on going. My battery's gonna have a problem, so hopefully between uh, my Canon, which I'm shooting on now, and my GoPro, we'll get enough uh, footage here. But we're gonna keep huffing up this mountain. Got the heel lifts up and going. Tubs. All right, we gotta keep going up that hill there. Well, <laughs> definitely makes you work right out of the gate there. So we're at our first look out here. This is Marble Mountain. It's, it's really nice. It's on the base here. All the high peaks out there. Just continuing, going straight up. I did a couple hikes lately in the Catskills. I forgot all about what the ADK brings. It's been, besides that one little break at Marble Mountain there, it's been straight up. So we're probably at like one and a half miles now. But it's beautiful out, the clouds are definitely gonna be rolling in, but there's no wind, the trail's nice and broke. We're just going up. We're climbing. Get that over there. I'm not sure what elevation we're at. We for I forgot my uh, watch, my Sunto. I always like to carry that with me, it's got the Compass, barometer, altimeter. I really like the altimeter on it, just kind of tracking my pace of elevation climb. We're making good time. The hard thing is temperature management, I think, in the winter. With not overheating and sweating. I'm definitely sweating a little bit now. If I started at the, tr at the uh, trailhead with just a Patagonia base layer 
in this uh, North Face fleece I have on right now. So I'm already warm, been warm for a while. We're gonna keep on going down this winter wonderland. Those heel lifts are great. You just get used to, you just get used to taking them up and down. Another reason why I just love hiking poles. All right, next stop is gonna be the turnoff for Esther Mountain, which is officially just a herd path. But from everything I could research on, it's it's pretty popular one, so I think it's gonna be marked, kind of like Tabletop was. Oh. All right, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, it hasn't stopped the incline. But on our way to Esther, probably about, I don't know, another mile to Esther, I have no idea really. But I found another one of these old shelters from the old mountain. Someone's been up here on skis too, you can see tracks right going down the, the snow snowshoe path. Show, show the, whew, I can't even talk. The, uh, the snowshoe path is, is nice. There's not no post hauling, so it's, it's pretty pretty level. But man, it's, it's nothing like the Adirondacks to work out. But it's pretty walking. This is my uh, low 40 water thermos. It's real nice. It's got the Velcro. Big, uh, almost like Nalgene style lid. But lots of people have the uh, ones that with the zipper. And zippers in the cold with texterity of your fingers. I really like this Velcro one. Huh. I wonder if this is my herd path. No, that's not the herd path, that's another trail up to Whiteface, or going to. But, it's time for a little cold sausage egg McMuffin right now. Yeah, that's cold. All right, let's keep going. All right, not much farther down, there was a sign here. Astor Mountain, path not maintained or marked, but, it's broken out, so that's good. All right, I had to put on my uh, my hard shell here. It's an outdoor research foray. But I'm uh, on Esther. Hopefully, there's a sign for the peak because uh, it's a herd path. We'll see. I'm just gonna keep going until people's tracks runs out. That means I had to hit the summit. We got a sweet view of the peaks here. You got Marcy way out in the distance there, and there's white face. That's today's later goal. All right, but I'm, I'm feeling good. Throwing this uh, hard shell on, warming me up just a perfect amount. All right, let's keep going here. It's cool, in the winter time, you don't need to look down at your feet in the Adirondacks the entire time. Of course, you're looking down a lot, but 
compare the summer with the amount of rocks, roots, you know, everything. In the, in the winter, you get to look up a lot more, which is nice. So one thing I, I always forget about hiking in the Adirondacks is to never, never judge where you think you are until you're there. Uh, I thought that last look at I showed you, I was super close to the summit. And now I'm looking out. I think that, way up there, I think that's Esther. So we got some climbing to do. But it's perfect out, I'm feeling good. Knees holding up well. That's my hiking pole. It's some deep snow. Ron, we're still on our way up to Esther. What's neat about these two peaks, they're the farthest north of all the high peaks. These, these, these last two up here, Esther and Whiteface. So really get to look down south on all the high peaks and just to get to see them all. It's, it's beautiful. Probably well, be getting close to the summit here. Check out the summit. All right, we're at the summit. There's not a, not a bald summit, of course, here, but let's see what we can see up this little outcrop here. Whoa, that's deep. Never mind. <laughs> I ain't going out there. I was sinking it. That's your view. Got this hole. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will do. There's the peak. All right, Hester Peak, high peak number six. Nice thing in the winter, you know it's the end of the trail when uh, you go from a nice broke snowshoe trail to three plus feet of powder, just sinking. All right, but we're gonna get down this and we'll, we'll take a break when we get back down to the junction of uh, Esther on our way to Whiteface there. All right, back down from Esther. Just did that, now we're gonna head that way to uh, Whiteface. I'm gonna take a, oh, it's dark. I'm gonna take a little break here. I'm just gonna take a little break here, hydrate, resupply my snacks, and we're gonna keep going. It's a great day so far, weather's awesome. All right, snack time. All right, what do we got in here? Never had one of these before. We've been steady going since that uh, conjunction back with Esther there. So I've never been to White Face's snowboard, but I'm on the main trail right now. Pretty cool. But my path brings me that way up to the peak. But that last little section, not too bad, fairly straight. My legs are feeling it though. I played soccer last night for uh, almost two hours straight, 5v5. <laughs> Might not have been the smartest idea. That's your view though. All right, we're on the GoPro now. Once you uh, cross the actual ski trail, you start your descent up pretty pretty quickly. There we go, we're going up this now. It's great, they were, uh, they were calling today for mostly cloudy skies on uh, mountainforecast.com, the weather channel. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope it uh, stays like this for my summit. I don't know how far away I am or not. One thing on this trail, there's not a lot of signage to tell you how far you've gone, 
which how far away the summits are. And I don't want to keep checking in my phone, so I'm just kind of keep on going. But I gotta bang out this uh, steep part here. Not frozen yet? Score! All right, we just popped out of the woods. We gotta go up that. I think right up there is the peak though. It's steep. Oh, it's gonna be worth it. Long edge here. Approaching the summit. There's our sign. Yeah, baby. High peak number seven, White Face Mountain. So if you watch my White Face Landing video uh, that I did with my dad and Lucans, we stayed at right down there in that inlet, the Lake Placid right there. And then way back there you got Mirror Lake. Coming down off the summit, it started to get windy and cold. Let's see if this works. Butt sliding. <laughs> Not steep enough. I need a sled. Butt slide one more time. Looks steep. Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! Man, if I could do that all the way back to the car. That was fun. Back on my feet now. Alright, we're just back down, but that's just so weird seeing on a hike. But this is the highest lift, so what I did, you, you can't get a lift up there, which is cool. But it's weird seeing that, huh? It's just so nice out, I gotta lose layers again. I just saw the, my first uh, person on the trail. It's perfect out. 
the guy was uh, he was following my tracks. He just did Esther, and I was going up to Whiteface as well. This is my uh, this is my longest snowshoe ever, and I, I love it. It's uh, it's different. Got the Flex Alps. I think I already said that, but the Flex Alps are they've been great. And I'm pretty happy with uh, my clothing system I, I wore. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little damp, but I got the Patagonia and the North Face. And my shell here, but it's gonna go away. So you don't need it now because it's not that cold, but. Just have a little Reflectix cruisy around a Gatorade, and it's not freezing at all. I'm not even sure what the temperature is. All right, we're headed back towards the Esther Conjunction, and we'll be uh, back to the car before I know it. A great day so far. Let's get this pack back on here. Yeah, the snow is really deep. <laughs> That's when I get off trail. <sighs> All right, let's move on. We're getting down there. All right, just on the last little you know, jaunt back down from Marble Mountain to uh, with the car. The trail was beautiful all day, coming up, but now like a group of people have destroyed the trail, pulse hold everywhere. It, it just makes it dangerous for everyone else who's out here doing, you know, the, the proper rules of winter hiking in the Adirondacks. Like, look at this. It's huge holes everywhere, no consistency. When I started this morning, it was a nice, nice path where people wore their shoes. But, I don't know. Enough of that rant. I'll make it down in the car. All right, we're about to get back to the car. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Here we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That's Esther Mountain. Number six, high peak for me, followed by white face number seven. Snowshoes the entire way. Beautiful, beautiful day. Officially not a winter hike. I think we're two days removed. I think today's the 23rd of March, 2018. Springtime's gonna be here soon. Gonna get some more adventures going. I'll catch you on the next video.